pita and no. Basically, you get a chapati and then fry eggs on top of it and then roll it. And when you roll the eggs, you get a Rolex. But I feel like if you're a fan of beans and you love chapati, I appreciate that this food is not the hustler's food. Mm-hmm. Would you say it's the number one hustler food in Uganda? channel thank you so much for clicking you already know we are coming at you straight out of Kampala Uganda I am super excited my second time in Uganda and this time I'm gonna be trying some local Ugandan meals and I'm not doing this alone I'm doing it with my Ugandan BFF <laughs> that's, that's yes I'm so excited where are we should I kneel down like this oh wow we're what are you trying to say, you trying to say I'm short <laughs> We're in Wonder Gear, we're going to be rating local Ugandan food and I'm excited to show what we have. First of all, before we go, uh, you need to know that he is a content creator. And we're right He's in the, the middle baddest, of the road as the well. baddest content creator. So if you, you need to subscribe to his channel. Raymond Kahuma, it's right there. So there's sauce and then there's food. So these prices are for the sauce, but the food, they, they just bring any food. I don't know, does that make sense? Okay, so let me give you an example. So it doesn't care what you have here. As long as it's meat, it's okay. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what you eat here. The only thing that matters is it's ground and mushrooms, it's 80. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I thought this is the food. So when they say plus food, plus what do they mean? Food. They mean anything. Any you, if so you're you can add anything. Yeah. So it would say like wombo, peanuts, mushrooms, and fries. So they would charge for the fries. No, the, the fries would be extra. <laughs> so what is this food? <laughs> that food is like rice, matoke, kosho, like ugali. Okay. Yeah. So you wash your hands before you eat homies or it depends on whether you're eating your hands or it's Um, hmm, okay. So basically what happens is you're supposed to wash your hands with soap and water on the bit of the room, Because a lot of it's eaten. A lot of the times it's eaten, like, in the village. It's eaten with, like, hands. Not with forks. So here in town, since we're in town, you just use a fork. Okay. You feel me? So that is... So that's what we ordered. That's a luwombo ground nuts and mushrooms, right? So luwombo is just a menu. Is luwombo this or this? This. Oh. You remember like what you book? Okay. Yeah. yeah. The banana leaves. So that's just a method of cooking luwombo ground nuts. Yeah. And then matoke is bananas um, that are heat cooked. They like steam with water as well, boiled. And then it for a long time, and then they press it. Like what you did. With the greens as well. And I am eating. We've just made what is the most complicated meal I've ever made in my life. But it was so interesting to learn something new. The food tastes so good. We basically used banana, the banana plant, in every way you can imagine. And this is what we have finally. We have you know mashed banana and meat stew, beef stew. What do we call it? The the, the Uganda name is what? Luombo. Luwombo. Guys, so for the first meal, you're going to be rating Luwombo with uh, matoke and some greens. Yes. Um, super Luwombo. popular meal in mm-hmm. Uganda. Especially in, um, especially in central Uganda. So Baganda, a lot of Baganda is the biggest tribe in Uganda. Okay. Okay, guys, this is going to be our first meal to rate. Out of 10, this is your fork. And this is me. <laughs> well, guys, by the way, this is the new intro for Miss Rudy's channel. Miss Rudy, Miss Rudy, Miss Rudy's channel. Miss Rudy, Miss Rudy, Miss Rudy's channel. Miss Rudy, Miss Rudy's, Miss Rudy's channel. No, no. Yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you. I'm gonna use this. Okay, okay, so how are you gonna eat this? Guys, I'm teaching a Kenyan for the first time how to eat the wombo. Okay, so you're gonna break the matoke. 
and then dip it in the mushroom sauce. So that's groundnut. Do you guys have this in Kenya? No, it's not common. I've never eaten this in Kenya. Really? Never. And then we're literally right close to each other. Yeah. What do you guys do with groundnuts? You just eat them. Yeah, we used to eat groundnuts roasted. Ah, terrible, Plain terrible. Plain tea. This is not, not at all. Kenya, let's do better. Okay. Alright, we want here in Uganda we want a brutally honest score out of ten. I should have put it in my mouth, but I think it's good. Out of ten? I'm very sorry. The taste is insane, but it's like very flavorful. Uh, eight. Nine point five. Really? Yes. That high? And that's not Ugandan bias at all. You know, we still have like three more meals to try. Mm-hmm. 9.5. You're setting at a 9.5. 9.5. I give it a 9.5 because um, it's not, none of it is fried. This is literally all boiled. Wow. So it's really healthy. Yeah. And I'm a big fan of healthy food. So I'm giving it a 9.5. This is, this is my favorite meal in high school. It's every really? high, Yeah. You can eat this in high school? Yeah. No way. Once so a week. this is common? This was a... You, you know how like rice and chicken is you know rice and chicken is the most popular food i don't know is it the most popular food for you guys no 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 but actually it's skuma wiki and ugali skuma wiki and ugali is um That's rice and chicken right school, like, no i didn't mention chicken <laughs> what is this he doesn't know swahili uh-huh so um it's vegetables like this and ugali yes That's the most common. yes we have it here as well yeah but it's not as common but it's really good <laughs> i give this a 9.5 strong start to the video Eight for me. If you love groundnuts, I think you'd love this. Can you go back and teach everyone there how to make groundnut groundnut in Luombo? I think I can. Now we're giving you a piece of Uganda. What do we have here? So meal number two is kalo, which is millet. That's a staple of my area, which oh, yeah? is Western Uganda. So the meal you just had is a staple for central. Central, Uganda. yeah. That's like here, every household has like banana plantations. That's where the matoto comes from. And in my area, this is a big deal. This is millet, right? So basically, you get a lot of millet flour, and then you put it in water, and then you heat it. Am I correct? All right. Is it, is it mixed with like corn or just millet? No, just millet literally. That's so why it has it like, like dark. Ugali. Really? Yeah. So like ugali would be white, right? Yeah, but then sometimes uh, there's a little bit of millet in Kenya. Oh, really? So yeah. And it changes color? It, it's kind of dark. Yeah. It's like, really? You know, the dark color. Yeah. Okay, so this is kalo. So how is it cooked? Um, you get a lot of millet, so which is processed, and then you boil water and then pour it and then keep mingling it. My mom is crazy about this food. Really? You can't like you can't say no when she cooks it. Even if I'm full, you have to. So what do you eat it with? Um any sauce, you typically it's meat. Today we're gonna eat it with something that's not meat, which is groundnut. Which is actually that's actually a sin because this is a really thick meal. And then you eat it with a really thick sauce. So typically you never find people eating this. Wow. But this I think I like this. Let's try it. So would I be correct to say groundnut sauce is the most popular sauce in Uganda? No. Beans. Beans are the most you know when you like boil beans and then fry them? That's the most popular. I guess dig in. So you break it like that. And then you put it in the sauce and then you The millet is okay though. Mm-hmm. Though I've never eaten this millet without mixing it with corn. So it's okay. I feel like it would go better with like meat or vegetables. True. But the combination for me doesn't go. So I'm gonna give it a four. <laughs> four. <laughs> four out of ten, I'll pass below five score. <laughs> <laughs> I can't diss it because it's from my area. Like <laughs> Uganda, but also, the only thing I don't like about Kalo is the fact that it doesn't have much taste. That, but my mom gives piss whenever I say that. Yeah. The, <laughs> I feel like it's like Ugali. Ugali doesn't have taste. Itself. Yeah. Like that is true. But you can eat it with anything. Mm. 
I feel like if there was meat or vegetables, this would have been a bomb meal. I'm giving it. I'll give it a five out of ten. I'll give it a five. I just don't like the fact that it doesn't have any taste on its own. Am I wrong or right? Well, uh, guys, tell us what you think. What do you guys think about Kalo? How are you guys rating it from a scale of one to ten? And you also have it in your country. Do you guys boil and mingle millet? What do you guys call it? Here it's called Kalo. Kalo gets a five out of ten, and that is our first. Our combined score is four and five. That's four point five out of ten. Chikomando. Chikomando. Why is it called Chikomando? Basically, okay, I have no idea why it's called Chikomando, but this is a food for hustlers. So, border guys, everyone that works in town, literally just go to like a one store where they sell both Rolexes, chapatis, and Chikomando. And then they're like, Chikomando, yeah, like, so basically what that means is, give me a Chikomando of like 1,000. 1,000 shillings. So, basically what that means is, so how they price Chikomando is, how many chapatis are they putting in? Oh, okay. So this year is one chapati. They cut one chapati. So that can be like 1,000. They, they get a chapati. You guys have chapati. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then cut it in pieces. They cut it. They fold it in half, cut it, fold it in another, and then keep cutting it until it's really tiny cubes like that. And then they cut it until it's really tiny like that. And then they pour beans. And usually it's served in a cavera. Like a polythene bag. Oh yes. Yeah, and then they tie it, and then they give it to you. So you're supposed to just eat it from the bag, because really? people are super busy. Like, how do you eat this bag? With a fork. So yeah, this now we're going to like more local territory. Mm -hmm. Okay, so out of ten. Seven out of ten. Yeah. I'm offended. Why? Because this is one of my favorite meal. This is a nine. <laughs> this is a nine out of ten. Because the beans are really good. The sauce is thick and the chapati is really, really soft. The chapati is soft, but I feel like the beans are too salty for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not a fan of beans myself, so yeah. But I feel like if you're a fan of beans and you love chapati, I appreciate that this food is you not know, the hustler's food. Mm -hmm. Would you say it's the number one hustler food in Uganda? It is. Uh, it is. This is literally for people, everyone that is working has eaten this at one point of the week, mm -hmm. every day. And it's affordable, yeah? yeah very affordable. So this would be like 1,000 Ugandan shillings? Like, yeah, two, 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 two chapatis would be 1,000. So that would be the equivalent of 300 Kenya shillings. Okay. That would really be affordable. It's affordable, but it's a lot for one meal. 300, 300 Kenya shillings. Wait, 30 Kenya shillings. Kenya shillings. Okay, now, yeah, now you're jumping. Every house, last day, I did. I did. This is eight every day. So, yeah, no, that makes no sense. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 bob. Yeah. We're trying to look for if we can find Senene, which is grasshoppers. Fried. Oh man, that's what I'm looking up to the most. Grasshoppers. <laughs> I'm not sure if we're going to find them because it, right now we're filming in what? We're filming in March. And usually they're around end of year, November, December. Yeah. So guys, cross your fingers for us. Like we hope we get grasshoppers. Like I can't think of that without trying to get grasshoppers. People are shocked that we need grasshoppers. I'm so scared. So scared. <laughs> but and then Rolexes. Of course. I'm kind of a Rolex. Like a I'm kind of a Rolex. He's the guy. He's the guy. When it comes right. to Rolex, why? Why are you the guy? Some might say I know a thing or two about making very big ones. <laughs> This guy made the biggest <laughs> Rolex ever, you know, and he actually got a world record. Yay! That's a big deal. Very shy. <laughs> uh, you'll find it in the description, okay? Yeah. If you see in the description. Exactly. So now we are going to try the Rolex. You can't come to Uganda and not try Rolex. So what is a Rolex? So basically this is what is, a Rolex is basically rolled eggs. So it's rolled in a chapati and I don't know, I don't know many people, okay. I don't know how many of you guys know what a chapati is, but it's also called naan. Um, yeah, so 
basically you get a chapati and then fry eggs on top of it and then roll it and when you roll the eggs you get a Rolex Yeah, we're gonna place the order. Um, okay, let's get two eggs on chapati, two eggs on chapati. Yeah. Thank you. He scrambles the eggs into the cabbage. So that's two eggs. Okay, so what you're holding right now is a Ugandan Rolex, right? Yeah. People will be very proud to see you holding it like this. That's yeah. how it's served in like a medical, you know, because this is how drugs are usually got. Oh, right? yeah, because the packaging is so different. <laughs> and then literally you just roll it back and take a bite. So, yeah, this is how I made a name for myself. And this is how people are gonna. Guys, you have to check the video out on his channel. Okay, love but it. it's really hot. Yeah. All right, three. You have to pull it back. So is it best to take it hot? It's best to take it... I, I don't like to take it hot, but a lot of people eat it hot. But you're gonna be like... You don't prefer taking it cold? You prefer taking it cold? I prefer like medium. You let and, it cool uh, for like five minutes. Um, Like water, soda. This guy's really salivating. He's like, let me just bite. Let me just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan. Uh, oh yeah? I literally just started eating them a few years ago. But really? I just... Yeah, now I eat the most. Ten, although I'm not a fan of eggs, yeah, it's, it's good. And it's all so, right. I, I think it's so unique to Uganda. I've not seen them doing this anywhere else. Anywhere else? Mm -hmm. we're, we're 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 um we're very popular for this. Like I saw a, a bunch of big YouTube channels making Rolexes in the states. I was like, damn! Oh, wow. But we really made it as a country. Oh, nice. So there you go, guys. I gave a ten. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I give a nine. It's really good. When you come to Uganda, you should definitely try this. Um, we were looking for grasshoppers because it's one thing that's eaten in Uganda. It's so unique to Uganda. I don't know if you guys do grasshoppers in your country. Do you? Um, so if you do, drop a comment. Let me know. We're still crossing our fingers. We are being told that it's not grasshopper season, so it might be difficult to you know find some grasshoppers. But I'm really hoping we can. <laughs> never say never. The day is not over yet. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, Trudy. It has been amazing trying different Ugandan dishes, and it has been even more amazing doing it with my best friend here in Uganda. Go over to his channel and subscribe if you haven't already. What's your name on YouTube? Raymond Kahuma. Um, subscribe or don't do anything else. And if it's your first time seeing this face on your screen, kindly make sure you subscribe. Until next time.